Joe in New Hampshire has been hanging on for quite some time. Let's take your call. What's up, Joe, here on the Rich Eisen Show? Rich, I've been a Patriots fan since Bay Pirelli, and I enjoyed Deion Lewis's time. He was uh, very dynamic, very enjoyable. But he had his second knee operation and had no team to play for. And he was sitting home uh, with uh, by himself, no team to play for. And the phone rang, and it was Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick offered him an opportunity to be a Patriot. They had to wait a year for him to come to the team to uh, to rehab and get ready to play, and he played. And because Belichick gave him that opportunity, he's now a rich man, and I think he should show a little appreciation to Belichick for the opportunity that he gave him. Now, Joe, hear me out here, okay? Because this, this is the only analogy I could come up with from my own personal perspective. ESPN took me out of Redding, California. They hired me. I found me in in uh, in market. I think it was like 120-something out of 200 markets in the television universe in the United States at the time. Hired me, got me to Bristol, gave me a dream job. And then uh, we parted ways in a way that left me with a real bad taste in my mouth. I didn't think they believed in me. I don't think they put me in the right role. I walked. And we separated ways after they basically gave me no option but to walk, to be very honest with you. And to this day, I still love being a tip of a spear against the worldwide leader in sports, Joe. You know, even though they gave me that opportunity, they didn't believe in me. When it, when it came down to it, I don't think they believed in me. What do you think they about have, that? They gave you the opportunity to like, get you to walk through the door, cut your foot in the door. They did. And That's I will always respect them always for that. Be- I will respect him for that. But on the field of battle, I want to beat him every single Sunday, every single time I'm going up Absolutely. against him in the draft. Absolutely. You want to prove yourself to them that they made a mistake. But you still have to appreciate that they got your foot in the door. Okay, Jim. Thanks for the call. Call back again, please. All right. He sounds he sound, it sounds like Joe from New Hampshire, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? I, 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 look, I know a lot of Joe. So I understand. Hampshire. Look, no, they, they, did give, they did give him a shot, right? He was done. He was at the crib. It was over. And Bill, Bill called him up, and then they waited for him to come back again. And then he got hurt again with the New England. I know. And then waited for him. So, you know. But you can understand. Sure, sure. That's why Brady's totally response it. was terrific. Field of battle. This is what it's about. We'll take our lumps and move on. And how many times have the Patriots done that, the guys? Deion Lewis isn't the first, won't be the last. You know I get choked up talking about my ESPN times, right? I mean... Uh, you know, anytime Stewart gets mentioned, I get all verklempt. Uh, met my wife in the newsroom. My children are technically ESPN babies, right? So, uh, and I understand they gave me that opportunity. Strolled into Sports Center in 1996 at age 26. I mean, when they talk about the golden age of ESPN, that was your so heyday. So I am fortunate to be included in that and viewed as that from people who remember it and watched it and all that. And kids who are like kids. People who are like 23 years old, hey, I grew up watching you in grade school, freaks me out. But like Mike Holmgren, see if I'm if I'm if I'm gonna make, if I'm gonna analogize myself for Dion Lewis, bring it all back. Mike Holmgren was in Seattle longer than he was in Green Bay. Adam Vinatieri, Adam Vinatieri, like Adam Vinatieri, right. longer in Indianapolis than he was in New England. Exactly. I've been at the NFL Network twice as long than I was at ESPN. So I don't know what my point is, except to say. <laughs> Except to say, this is my, I get goosebumps thinking of this. Tonight on SportsCenter, you know, like that, that was my. On the old set. On the old set, right? That's the old school theme. But every Sunday morning, when NFL game day morning goes on the air, an hour before countdown. When that music comes on now, (laughs) and I come out of my Ray Lewis smoke, I want to beat everybody. I'm competitive. I'm a, you know what? When it comes to that, I wake up dangerous every Sunday morning. (laughs) Okay? So I can understand Deion Lewis. The first time when we ever, should we ever, knocking on this right here, have a larger draft viewing audience than ESPN, I'll be like Deion Lewis the next day. Believe that. I want some respect on my name. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.